got Tiffany. NBA Fan Club is on. I'm their biggest fan. You are now tuned in to NBA Fan Club. Hello, good day, and welcome to the NBA Fan Club. Today we're gonna have more of a washdown kind of show. You know how we roll. Okay, so Christmas just passed, and I don't know about you guys, but the Christmas just didn't Chris this must ish this year for me. I mean, even Home Alone didn't hit. How it usually hits. Of course, one and two and three. The fourth home alone sucked. I think we all can agree on that. The air was not filled with pepper pot, so there was no motivation from the parents to battle in the neighborhood to see whose pot smelled the best. And you know, some folks might say, Hey, Steel, why you gotta rely on the parents to cook the pepper pot? Why don't you cook your own pot? And to you, my friend, I say, <laughs> mind your own business. Christmas is usually a great time in our households. With the fairy lights, the luxurious blinds, the new carpets, rugs, and vinyls, And the strong smell of freshly painted walls that so fresh it still makes your head swing. Giving you that lightheaded happy feelings. Back in the days, my grandma... She catered for weddings and events and such. So most times during the season, we would find ourselves with a big, gigantic tub hand mixing cake batter for hours. She would pass occasionally to see if we've passed out or feel the texture of the batter and be like, hmm, this one, two more egg. And I used to love it when I heard this because the more eggs she added the easier it was to mix that tub it was stiff and it's not like she didn't have an electric mixer she did but when we asked why why granny why aren't you using the electric mixer she would say nah it just don't taste the same right Right, Grandma. The taste of child slavery was missing. I get it. But it did come with its perks because after all the mixing that we did, and after all the cakes have been baked, and all were delivered, sometimes there was a small pan of cake left. And when you find out why, why, Grandma? She would say, oh, the one is you own. <laughs> and my, 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 glorious. You sit there as stingy as ever. And you argued with everyone that you shared a thin slice of cake to. You didn't deserve this. I worked for this. And you sit there as the master of cakes. You cut the biggest slice ever for yourself. And you enjoy that same child slavery in that cake. Quietly thinking, like Miss Trenchbull from Matilda. <laughs> this is much too good for children. So, that's my childhood Christmas story. Please share your most favorite Christmas memory in the comments. Let's see who's better. <laughs> now, a case that has touched across borders. Tory Lanes was found guilty. <laughs> this case... It's a heck of a case. I'm sure everyone has an opinion on it. We've been following it. There were so much conflicting stories, allegedly. Now, if you weren't following this story, this all began at Kylie Jenner's pool party. Now, Tori was flirting with Kylie. Megan didn't like it. Hmm, now hold up. Wait a minute. At that time, Tori was with Kelsey, which is Megan's best friend. Which we all later found out Megan encouraged Kelsey to pursue Tory Lanes in the first place. Megan got drunk and was feeling some type of way about Tory and Kylie. According to Megan, she left the party because her wig got loose and didn't want to stick around. 
She further stated that Tori's driver refused to leave without him. According to the other story, Megan didn't want to leave the party knowing that Kylie and Tori would have been there alone. So she acted a fool, got kicked out, they all got in the car together arguing, and Tori dropped the bombshell. He was smashing Megan behind Kelsey's back. And apparently, shit hit the fan from there. Pretty sure you guys know the rest of the story. But there was an alleged fight between the friends. Shots were fired. Now the trial. But before we talk about the trial, let's have a word from Connections GY. We need contract cars. Not just drivers, but cars. Now why do we need cars? Well, business is booming. Business is booming so much that it's a challenge to keep up with the demands of our customers. So if you would like to join our great working environment, give us a call on 222-0055 or WhatsApp us on 652-4011 today and join the Connections GY team. It's a great team. Now back to the case. Thing is, there was so much reasonable doubt in the case. How was Tory Lanes found guilty? Megan's key witness did not show up to court, i.e., her bodyguard. He was the one that said Tory apologized for shooting Megan in the first place. Her best friend Kelsey basically pled the fifth after making a deal with the prosecutors for immunity. Tory's DNA was not found on the gun, and an independent witness who showed up to court, said he saw Megan and Kelsey throw down, had a big fight. Kelsey shot the gun first, Tori took the gun, and also fired the gun, but in the air. Now, Tori is facing 20 years in prison and deportation back to Canada. Tell me what you guys think about this case in the comments. I mean, you know, it's, it's a bit fishy. Now, as we move into 2023, there will be new horizons and new ventures and a lot of baggage that we all will be carrying with us. And yes, I'm speaking about the people in the toxic relationships. Shout out to you folks. Have we ever noticed that these toxic people, whether you know they're toxic or not, give the best advice? It's an unsolved mystery. Now hear me out. Let's speak directly to the toxic people out there. Toxic people. Oh, oh, you know yourselves. Don't act like you forgot. Now, do you find yourselves giving friends and family great advice on their relationships, but yet for some reason, you can't get it right? Don't you be asking yourself, what the hell is wrong with me? Why can't I follow my own advice? And not just any advice. I'm talking about um, a master's in psychology and counseling type advice. Advice that sounds so good. You believe you're that deep voice guy on TikTok that says shit like, you know the problem with letting go. Hold on, I can't feel you. If you don't have arms, hold on. How do you even know that you've let go? Hold on, I can't, yes that guy yes that kind of advice so people in 2023 before you step over i mean there's a lot of resolutions to be made and broken on the first or the second probably a week but find a toxic person and let them tell you what's up with your toxic relationship chances are they will tell you the opposite of what they're doing which should be perfect so let's appreciate those toxic people in our lives Keep them far, but appreciate. If you agree, leave a comment below. If you don't agree, then let's argue in the comments. All right, shouting out the Ninja Fish Arts team. We have done a lot this year and we're planning to do even more next year. So shout out to the team, shout out to Freedom, Kircher, Christine, Mark, Stefan, Sue, and Janelle. Not forgetting Casper Records and the entire DNA work on the team. Catch us this and every Wednesday, same time, same place. This is the NVA Fan Club saying Happy New Year to one and all. Goodbye.